A flood of letters mailed to a North Pole address has washed up in New York's main post office. CNN's Jeannie Most tells us all about it. It's not easy for the U.S. Postal Service to deliver a letter all the way to the North Pole. The Dead Letter Branch receives letters that address Santa Claus or Santa Claus, New York City, or just North, Santa Claus, North Pole. And since the New York City Post Office isn't equipped to deliver five or 6,000 letters that far north, it encourages the public to play Santa's helper. Anyone who wants to can come in and look through these letters, select one or two, and make a kid's dream come true. The kids are pretty careful about including their return address. There are all kinds of requests. This six-year-old wants a tote bag, a gerbil, and a fast food stand. Not only are a lot of the requests odd, some are simply unending. And those home video games seem to be on almost everyone's list. Some of the senders aren't shy about playing on Santa's sympathies. Take the one who wrote, last year I didn't get nothing for Christmas. I was so sad, I felt like this. Some of the kids are both idealistic and realistic. Juanita, for instance, asked for peace in the world and Jordache jeans. A few kids even include prices to make Santa's job easier. Some of the people who respond to the letters, like these high school students, can't afford to buy the kids what they want, but a reply on Santa's stationery from one of Santa's helpers, even without a gift, is better than no reply at all. They write in to Santa Claus hoping for some kind of response, and many of them don't get it. And I, as a child, used to write to Santa Claus all the time, and I never got any letter in response, and I was always very depressed and sad. And, I, and one day, I, I finally got a letter from Santa Claus, and that was just so wonderful. I was really so very happy. Though many of these letters are amusing, even more touching, because they come from kids with parents who are poor, and a surprising number of parents themselves write in, knowing of the program, Many of them are on welfare, wrote one. It hurts me a great deal to see my son wanting some of the toys he sees on television, but for this Christmas, I can't afford anything for my son, wrote another. Please remember my two children, because being poor does not stop you from believing in Santa. Jeannie Mo, CNN, New York. Well, I never get any answers to mine either, Marcia. <laughs> <laughs> that is the TBS Evening News for Tuesday, December 7th, 1982. I'm Don Miller. And I'm Marcia Leidendorf. Thanks for being with us. The TBS Evening News offers Superstation viewers an opportunity to see Cable News Network, the 24-hour news channel that brings you up-to-the-minute world news, weather, sports, business reports, and more. If you like what you're seeing now, but don't have CNN full-time on your cable system, contact your cable operator and ask for Cable News Network, the news channel. Coming up next, someone is out to get Archie on All in the Family, followed by a special encore of Jacques Cousteau, the St. Lawrence Seaway, then, Western Adventure with Barbara Stanwyck and Dean Jagger and 40 Guns. And then, the man behind the gun. Right here on Superstation WTBS.